could outrun its own shadow. That's how fast the Concorde was, a jet that cruised at Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. While normal planes took over seven hours to fly from New York to London, Concorde did it in under three. Passengers left JFK at sunset and landed in London before it. Flying at 60,000 feet, you could literally see the curve of the Earth. The sky turned dark blue, and you were racing the planet's rotation. But all that speed came with a price. Concorde burned fuel like a rocket, and every seat cost thousands of dollars. Each flight was a luxury event, with champagne, caviar, and celebrities in every row. It wasn't just fast, it was an engineering masterpiece. Its slender delta wings, its drooping nose for takeoff and landing, and its afterburners lighting up the sky like a fighter jet in a tuxedo. But the world wasn't ready. The sonic boom made it illegal to fly supersonic over land. Maintenance costs skyrocketed, and by 2003, the dream ended. The last flight touched down to tears and applause. Yet even today, no airliner has matched it. So here's the question. If you could cross the Atlantic in under three hours again, would you pay the price to fly faster than sound?